Las Vegas at LA Chargers next. It feels like this could be a Raiders home game with the way the fans work in LA. Uh, 48 over under. Obviously, we've seen the big Mike Williams injury last week. How do you see that breaking down for the, the Chargers offense? Well, I think in the short term, we see more Josh Palmer. I think we see them play more two tight end sets. We've seen Donald Palmer have a bigger role than we expected this year. His snap rate is up by sort of 15% as opposed to last year where it was like quite minimal. Gerald Everett's yet to kind of get really going, and I would love for Gerald Everett to start getting going. Um, so, yeah, I think we will see more Quentin Johnston. The team drafted a first-round ride receiver, and you need to get production out of a player when you draft a player that high what we saw from mike williams was that he was playing out of the slot on 30 percent of his snaps is that something they can replicate with palmer or quentin johnson i don't know i don't know where that just means that keenan allen just becomes the slot receiver which is fine because we know he's just an absolute volume hog we see him get double digit targets consistently the raiders side of things Jimmy G, they keep saying that they think he's going to pass concussion protocol, but no player has done it within seven days so far this season. No player has actually had a concussion. Gus Edwards did it, but the report was that he wasn't actually concussed. Adams, Devontae Adams, his usage is up against last year, you know, at this point last year, so you can start him. If Jimmy G plays, I'd be much more scared about doing it if it's Brian Hoyer at quarterback. Um if Brian Hoyer is at quarterback, Josh Jacobs at 7,100 might feel enticing, but I'm not sure this Raiders team is going to sustain drives particularly well with Brian Hoyer. We've seen him do that. And honestly, I'd much rather Jimmy G was out there because he leads the league with six interceptions. The Raiders lead the league in percentage of drives, ending in a turnover at 25%. And that could be good for fantasy. It gets the other team back on the field. It puts the Raiders in a hurry-up sort of approach at times. So I'll have more interest in this if Jimmy G is healthy than otherwise. I You said about uh, Brian Hoyer being the, the next man up. I'm really intrigued if, it, if they're going to go with Aiden O'Connell. And I think that I've got to kind of temper how strongly I word this. I think there's a scenario where Aiden O'Connell keeps this job and they don't go back to Jimmy G. I think that Aiden O'Connell, if he plays how he played in the preseason, which was incredible, there is a scenario where the Raiders are like, yeah, well, let, let's give it a go and, and try and try and roll with him. I don't think that's a realistic scenario, but there's definitely a scenario. So, yeah, I'm really intrigued if they give him the shot rather than going with, a guy that we know is awful in Brian Hoyer and is is not going to be good enough to be able to put up enough points to beat what we know is going to be another good Chargers offense. So yeah, I, I'm very intrigued to see what way they do go at quarterback if Jimmy G doesn't pass. <laughs> <laughs>